for 20 Things Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing an unboxing from the desk, from the setup, gaming, podcasting, whatever you want to call it, but we're doing it here. Uh, why? Because we're doing this small little product, baby. I've been waiting for this thing for a hot second. Uh, this is an AC Infinity product. Uh, if you want to buy one of these, there'll be a link in the description, the first pin chat. There'll be discount codes there, everything. I'm an affiliate marketer. If you buy one of these from them and use my code, you get a deal, I get a deal. We both profit from this arrangement. So here it is. Uh, it's the Hydro Sensor water quality, water quality Mater. So let's open it and let's get into it. it. Can't be that much. Look at the size of this box, man. I was like, holy jeez, it's small. And then it was even smaller. So we got the paperwork and it's one of these accordion type deals here boom oh, calibration yeah this is important okay i'm gonna first just do the unboxing and get that over with so we can see it but this is gonna be part of the video just not out just it, it's coming wait <laughs> Uh, first bag, this says nothing on the bag. It's a little Ziploc. It's a little cloudy. You can't really see what's in there, but let's see what it is. Oh, okay, okay. We have pull-off only. Pull-off only. Okay. I said I'm going to get to the instructions. Um, what is it? Oh, this is the EC sensor. Okay. Uh, let's see how long this is. I'm six foot. And there's, from the dangling of it, there's six feet. 12 feet of cable on this EC sensor. All right, we're just going to put that off to the side right here beside the keyboard. Oh, second bag. I'm assuming this is going to be the pH sensor because, right, there's EC, there's pH, and there's temperature. But I'm assuming one of these. Whoa, look at this thing, man. Ooh, psychedelic. It's like plastic. It's like glass. I don't know what it is, but it sure does look cool. And it is the pH meter. Uh, there is some liquid in here. Was there liquid in this one, too? Oh, it was like a sponge. Sponge in that one, a yellow sponge. You can see it there. This one, this, listen. Oh, I see this. I go, oh, it's so cool. I keep getting text messages. There are six feet. Wow. Paul, stop texting me. Uh, and then another 12 feet. So there is another six feet, so 12 Again, another 12 feet foot connection. Okay, we're gonna put that down as well. And then we got, we got another bag. We got more bags. This is the next bag. So what do we have here? We have the plug-in unit. So now this has the two, is it two? What is this one? How does this work? I gotta look at these connections. But yeah, there is, that one's, wow. That one's like quite intricate. There's a bunch of little itty bitty. Be careful whenever you plug something into that. This one, not so much, but that one, definitely. Put the cap back on so I do not damage said things. Okay. And then here's your UIS. I'm assuming, and I'm only assuming at this part of the video, that this goes to a sensor. Why? Because it's called the hydro sensor. It's going to have to go to one of your sensor plugs. So you're going to need either an AI controller or an AI. Um, power bar, the four port or the eight port, you'd be able to plug it into one of those sensor plugs only. So the older um, Pro and stuff like that, they don't have these plugs. And there's only two on the on the on the um, AI control. There's only two, and I think on the power bar. Well, hey, look at you know what? I have a power bar right here, and it also has two sensor ports. Okay, so one, usually relative humidity, and then the next one, you could use one of these. So, whether you have one of those, whether you have an AI controller, if you were looking to get this and this only to, to, to be on your information on the app, because that's what I'm looking for. I screwed up once, I didn't put the right enough stuff in, my pH was all off, it was wonky, 
couldn't see it from my phone, so I couldn't do anything. Now, would have had to call my wife, hey, put this in, put that in, which would have been fine. But if you have just that, you just want this, the cheapest way to get to it, to get it to be in the AC Infinity app, would be one of those um, uh, power plugs, the four bar. Cheapest way in. But it's either the four prong, the eight prong power bar, or the AI controller. Sensor UIS. Okay. What else we got in here? We got the old zip locks, zip ties, and the 3M stickers. And then, oh, what is this? Oh, okay. So what you have here is you have some conductivity calibration solution. So there's quite a few of these. Uh, and there are no containers. They're just little tearaway things. So pH, I've got a ton of this. pH 10, I got a ton of that. Uh, conductivity 14.13. This one is conductivity 12.88. This one is uh, 7 pH. I also have a bunch of that. And then the last one is this, right? So it's the 84 um, micro SCM. So whatever, whatever that means. Also going to have to look into this. Uh, to obviously you're going to uh, for me. Straight out the box, I'm calibrating it. I got the solution. I know what it is. Maybe I'll just cut it off here, stick it in there, use it this one time, and then buy some more of this stuff in containers. Again, to store it in this, you're not going to store it, right? They're just little rip-off way you go liquids. But at least you got the liquids. Okay? So that's all that's in the box. Well, now it's all in the box. Now it's empty. Calibration solution for both pH and EC. Three each. You got... The book, which I'm going to start going over now, a few of these smoky Ziploc bags, uh, and the, the sensor and the plug to plug it in. So, uh, that's all it is. Now, let me, so, again, part of this is you need a controller to plug it into, right? Because it's a sensor. It doesn't stand alone, this thing, unless it says it here, which I highly doubt because it's only got a UIS, okay? So, before calibration, calibrate your sensor probes before use. <laughs> Told you. Uh, ensure the following before calibration. Shake out any of the bubbles from the glass probe. Oh, it is glass. Oh, no. Maybe that one's glass. One of them's glass, okay? Do not knock the probe against any hard services. Tink! Of course, we recommend soaking the probe in your sample solution for one to two hours before calibration for more accurate results. So if you're ready to do this, uh, you would definitely need something to put it in so it's going to be sturdy for one to two hours, okay? Uh, ensure the calibration solution is similar in temperature to the sample solution. Oh, okay, yeah. Sample solution will be my reservoir. So yeah, it's in my basement. It'll be the similar temperature. That's for the pH probe. EC probe. Okay, so pH probe is glass. Or maybe it's glass down here, though. Maybe this is glass. It it could be glass. This is funky blue stuff, man. <laughs> There's, like, like I said, look how cool it looks in there. Let's just take a second to admire. Ah. Uh, and I haven't undone this yet. A bit of salt build up on there. Makes sense. It's pH stuff, right? Okay, pro calibration program. Auto calibration. Sounds like that's what I'm going to do. Auto. Uh, to set up auto calibration automations and alerts, download the AC Infinity app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to use the app for sure. Uh, regular storage. Ensure the probe stays moist by placing the probe head into the probe bottle when not in use. So you want to keep that off to the side. Makes sense because it, it goes on to it, right? Yeah. Um, long-term storage for the pH sensor, add a few drops of 3M KCL solution, not included, to keep the probe moist. The, for the EC sensor, add a few drops of pure water to keep the sponge moist. Oh, that is a sponge. See, told you the yellow sponge. Do not store the pH probe in pure water like tap, RO, distilled, uh, or deionized water. Doing so may damage the probe. It's stored in manner and immediately soak the probe in yeah, the case. I, I have some solution that I store my other handheld pens in, so perfect. You, if you have any of the handheld pens, you probably have that. If not, you can get that stuff on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link down in there from Amazon uh, where I got it. Uh, again, it's not expensive stuff, right? Storage solution, right? I mean, there's higher end stuff for sure, but whatever. Maintenance. Rinsing the probe. Rinse off the probe with pure water before and after each test to ensure accurate readings. For each test, I'm assuming that means for the calibration, because I'm going to leave this sucker in all the time, right, in my reservoir. 
Uh, removing damage, gently stir the probe in a cup of cleaning solution or mild detergent water. Use a soft brush not included to remove the contaminants. Rinse well with pure water to remove all traces of detergent mixture. Calibrate before next use. Perfect. Okay. Water and 3M cancer droplets are added during the production of this product unit. That's what's in the container. The probe's moisture. This uh, normal practice is not indicative of used the product, of course. The pH and EC probes must not be used to measure the following solutions. Uh, pH and EC probes must not be used to measure the following solutions. pH probe, high, alkaline, or salt solutions. Salt solutions? What does that mean? Like, I'm mixing salts into my reservoir. Low, uh, I, I gotta find out some questions of this. So, yeah, so this is the uh, question I got answered from the dev team. Um, it is referring to anything higher than 11 pH. Don't store it in that and don't, you know, don't measure that. And anything more than 60 EC. I'm gonna do 3 EC, not 60. So, it's all cleared up, no big deal. Got some questions of this. Low ion solutions such as pure water, drinking water, RO distilled, or deionized water, yeah, pH, okay. Hydrofluoric acid solutions, I'm definitely not doing that. Not happening. Okay, and sticky substance or organic solvents, also not in my wheelhouse, okay. EC Pro, do not use under this condition. Most organic solutions such as aminis, ketones, aromotic, hydrocarbons, etc. A lot of words that uh, I'm not even sure what they mean. Solutions with very low conductivity. I'm going to be like in the 3 EC range, usually where I am when I mix my uh, solution. Strong acid, alkyl, or oxidizing solutions such as disinfectant, battery waste. Battery waste? Where do they put them in these into, into the things? Battery acid? Man. Sticky substances. No sticky substances across the board, okay? That's for sure. Um, uh, you can wall mount the uh, the unit there and uh, powering it on. Uh, remove the port cap from the hub. Align the ports with the electrodes pointed to the pH and EC sensors into the corresponding ports. Do not twist or force the plugs. Remember how they were real thin and like super small? You're going to do that. Step two, for the EC sensor, use the fastener to lock the plug to the electrode. Do not twist the plug. Do not over tighten. So there's a, they even put a plastic cap here so that you kind of have to get to it. So it, you got to unscrew this metal thing and then the cap comes off. So when you plug it into the unit, you're going to be putting it in and then turning that, not this plug, just this, this metal part. So that makes sense. Okay. And then this one just slips on, it looks like. Just pressure filled on. Boom, where you go. Now, salt solutions. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another thing I didn't read. Maybe it clears up the salt solution thing. Read all instructions before installing using this product. Do not submerge sensor hub underwater. The submerge the sensor hub? Yeah, this is sensor hub. Definitely don't put this underwater. Um, yeah, that's, no. That's wall mounted above your scenario. Makes sense. Do not consume calibration student. Do not drink it, even if you're really thirsty. Okay, guys, this is a public service announcement. If you're super thirsty and you gotta drink this stuff, oh, I just spilled water everywhere, <laughs> all over my keyboard. Get yourself a cup of water. Don't use it. Look at this. Like it's all, can you see it? It's all nice and wet now. See all the water drops? Yeah. Hopefully it's waterproof before that keyboard's done. Um, wash hands after handling calibration solutions. Uh, do not use this product. Freezing cold conditions. Wait until the space warms up to room temperature. Do not open this product if it malfunctions, has been dropped, or has been damaged in any manner. Do not damage the glass probe or allow it to touch hard surfaces. Good thing I have it on my mouse pad, which is nice and soft. Let's pull this off, and we're gonna, it's got a cap here. So I'm just going to hold the cap and spin the bottle. There's your little pH glass ball in there, baby. That's going to tell you. Okay. Now, 
All right, she's back in there. Back onto a soft area, because it's glass. Careful, it's glass. Okay, same thing with this. I'm just gonna pull off only. This one is a pull off only. Pulling it off back and forth, wiggling it back and forth, because it is a tight rubber seal here. I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it. Is it pulling and twisting at the same time? I feel like, there we go. And then that's the tip of your EC meter. Yeah. That little sponge down inside. It is spongy. So those are the two tips, the two things. Um, if this is the end of the video and you want to get one of these, head on over to AC Infinity's website. Use coupon code that's listed in the first description, first pinned comment, wherever it is, wherever you're looking. And, uh, yeah, it'll help the channel out. And I will super appreciate it. This is, I have a really great patch right there. All right? Like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Yeah.